Hey guys, my name is Ron Kennedy. I am with the ATW World Church and the Outreach Ministry as well as We Care 2.0. I know that you've been looking at your internet for the past several days and on the right there on Google or on Facebook you've seen these ads that talk about this group of radicals who really care about people. Well, yeah, that's us. We are We Care 2.0. And the purpose of our ministry and the purpose of all of this outreach and all of this advertising is to present you with the idea that Christians really do care in 2013. I know that over the past couple thousand years, Christians have been painted with a really bad picture and we have a really bad taste in the mouth of society. But the bottom line is this, we actually really do have compassion. Well, before we discuss any further about what We Care 2.0 is, I want to tell you a little bit about We Care 1.0. If you guys were to go to your Bible and turn in the book of Acts, you can come back some 2,000 years to my homeboy named Peter, who was preaching this really cool sermon to about 100 of his friends and teaching them about the importance of compassion and caring for others. Well, while he was doing this, Acts chapter 2 records for us in verse 1 that the Holy Spirit fell because they were all together in one place. If you read forward in Acts chapter 4 and chapter 5, you learn about what this together in one place really meant. As a matter of fact, the Bible records for us that they were sharing all of their possessions. It said that they were living as if none had their own things, but that they were giving freely to everyone who had need. In fact, there's this story in Acts chapter 4, right at the end, right before chapter 5, of this really cool guy who goes and sells his property so that he can provide for the needs of those who are in the church, and those who are in the community. Do you know that's what We Care 1.0 was all about? It was about all of those Christians coming together and selling all of their goods so that people could eat, so that people could have their bills paid, so that people could be, could be walking around in some new Chuck Taylors or maybe a new jacket so that they would be comfortable. Well, 2,000 years later, I was sitting at my desk one day, and God said, you need to start caring. He said, you need to start having compassion on those who do not have he took me back to Acts 2, Acts 4, Acts 5, and he started ministering to me in some kind of incredible way. And he reminded me of the compassion of the early church, and he said, this is who you need to be today. I want to ask you guys a question. Internet audience abroad, I want you to hear this, and I want you to answer in truth. How much do you care? How many times have you seen someone in need and been able to meet it and then reached out to them to do so? How many times have you seen someone who needed a ride? How many times have you witnessed the old couple at a restaurant who couldn't afford to pay their bill? How many times have you... It is our initiative and our challenge to you to take hold of this new thing, this new move called We Care 2.0, where just the same way 2,000 years ago the disciples met together in the upper room and they shared everything they had, and according to the Word of God, none of them had need because they had all things in common, we want to challenge you to do the same thing. I want you to look around you this Sunday at church. I want you to look at the very back, at that family who's too shameful to sit on the front row. I want you to look at the back of the parking lot, at the older cars, the hoopties and the hopties that are parked out there, and I want you to consider those people. I want you to consider while you're eating your steak dinner, they're eating their ramen noodle. I don't want you to feel bad, and I don't want to try to make you feel horrible about what you're doing and how well God has blessed you. But I want to challenge you. When you see a need, will you meet it? long been in the grave, his hair has long turned into dust, and everything has changed in Christianity. There's no more people selling their property in order to help out. There's no more people who are baking stuff in their homes in order to feed the hungry. In fact, what we're doing is we're hoarding the things that we need the most in our own pockets and watching as the world around us suffers. Well, we care. 2,000 years later, and we're going to start digging down deep into our lives to make sure that we're supplying the needs of the many for their lives. As a matter of fact, there's a really neat story in the closing section of this particular message that I want you guys to apply to your hearts. That story is the story of these cool group of people called the Macedonians. Paul was traveling around doing his thing like only Paul could, and he was in some trouble. He was having some financial difficulty. As a matter of fact, in the book of 1 and 2 Corinthians, the Apostle Paul commends the Macedonians because in the middle of his trial, 
And in the middle of their poverty, they welled up in some kind of tremendous generosity and helped Paul out along his way. As a matter of fact, Paul says that many of them gave beyond their means so that he could continue to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. I want to ask you another question, and this one's intended to hit you right in the gut bag. How many of you are willing to give beyond your means to help to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ? The question needs to be answered in truth. And reality will show you who you are on the inside. It is my goal, and it is this organization's program and our directive, to start showing compassion and to start caring for those who are in need as if they were those who were closest to us. When you see that old couple in the restaurant who can't afford to pay for their meal, go ahead and swipe your card for them. When you see those people who need the ride, even though they look dangerous and their hair may be matted and they may have a little bit of mud on their knees, go ahead and pull over. Take them to the gas station. Buy them a soda. Take them where they need to be. When you see that mother whose husband has died, who has four children, you see that she has a need, you meet it right where it is. You pay that bill for her. You help her out. We Care 2.0 is about 2,000 years after Peter started helping and started caring, we're going to start helping and we're going to start caring. Will you join us?